Welcome to day 2 of Advent of Code 2024. Today we are getting an array, a 2D array like this, which is a list of levels for each row. And there are two conditions to say that this row is valid, safe or correct or it's not. So the two conditions are like this. Each row, all the numbers should either be increasing or decreasing. So for example, here if we are going from 7 to 6, so we are decreasing, we should always decrease 6 to 4, 4 to 2, 2 to 1. Okay, so this is valid by the first row. Now this one is not valid by the first row because we are going from 1 to 3, we are increasing, but then we would decrease and then we would increase again and then we would increase again. So there is a decretion here, so this is not valid. Now the second rule says that the two adjacent numbers should be different by 1, 2 or 3. So here we are going from 7 to 6, we are decreasing, this is OK, difference is 1. So from 6 we are going to 4, correct, from 4 to 2, correct, 2 to 1, correct. But for example here we are going 9 to 7, we are decreasing, OK, fine. We are decreasing by 2, also fine. Here we are decreasing by 1, also fine. We are decreasing by 4, not fine. So this is not valid or this is not safe. And then again here we are going up, increasing by 2. Then we are decreasing by 1, so this is not correct. Now we need to check each of the row and see how many of the rows are safe. So let's go to the code and in this part again we are getting like the data from a text file then I would split it by new line to get each of these rows like this and then we would split it by like space to get each individual number like this and then we map them to number to get the numbers. So if I here log the R, you can see that these are all numbers. Okay, great. Then for each of the rows that we have, we would call a function that is called check sequence. Now I'm using a function here because this is going to be used in the part 2. And if we check that sequence and it's a correct sequence, we add to the same. If we go to the function up here, first we will check the first two numbers. If number 1 is greater than number 0, then it's increasing. Okay, otherwise it's decreasing. Great. Now we need to go and check from the first item to the last item. So we are, for example, if we are in this row, we would check from here up to here. Great. And we get the difference, which is this number from the last one. So we start here, we check this against this. Hmm? We get the difference. If the difference is less than 1 or greater than 3, then this is not a valid. For example, if this was 90, then it wouldn't be OK because it would be like 7 difference here. Then what else would be not OK? If we are increasing and then the difference is like negative, which means that this is increasing, as written here, increasing but found a decrease or neutrange. Okay, so if for example here we are going from 97 to 94 and then here we go to 94 again, this is not okay because we are not either increasing or decreasing. Or here, if we go like, for example, 96, then it's not OK because we are decreasing here and we are increasing here, although we are increasing by 2. 
and the same here if we are decreasing and the diff is greater than zero then it's not okay now if all of these have passed for one row then that row is considered a correct row and then we return true otherwise if any of this happens we just return false and we get out of the uh, sequence checking here then here we get the check sequence result if it's true which means that the sequence is okay we add to the save and at the end we just log the save now let's go to part two the part two gets a little bit trickier so here they say that we might be able to remove one of these numbers and make it safe so for example this is safe because it's already safe we don't need to remove anything and it's working properly now this is unsafe because whatever we remove from here the distance between these two are too great so we are going from one to two and then two to seven which is five so if we remove this then we would go from two to eight which is already too big and if we remove two then it's going one to seven is already big so we can't do anything this is safe unsafe sorry here this is also unsafe here it's safe because we are going from one to three and then three to two uh, which is like going increasing and then decreasing and then increasing again so if we remove three from here it would be one two four five and this is a valid sequence or a safe sequence so we could consider this as safe by removing three now here the same story we are repeating four so we could remove this four and then the row is safe or this one doesn't matter this is considered safe and the last one is already safe without doing anything so for part two the only thing that is happening is that if this is okay we add to the save and return we don't do anything otherwise we go to the list and we create a modified array by removing one element from it so we slice from zero to i and then concat it from the one item after that so this is like removing the item and the dx i from the array okay now we get the modified array so for example here uh, for this one we would go index 0 remove this one we get this array send it to the check sequence if it comes okay then we check this as safe go on if not we remove this one we get one two four five send it to the array if it's safe then we're okay we go out of the loop now this happens here if the check sequence works for the modified array then we add one to the save and we say okay now this one is safe return we don't need to do anything else and in the, in the end after the array is finished we can return the safe which is in my case three five four well so yeah this is for part two or day two of advent of code 20, 2024 i hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next day